The time after sunset and before the sunrise, while it's dark outside, is called night to most people. But allow me to indulge you, me, and push you away from the line of light so that you can finally see the actual fact through this misconception. The reality is there's no such thing as night. Welcome to Back to the Basics, where you learn facts, hope you embrace it. Watch like share, bring in awareness. Watch like share, bring in awareness. I'm fearless. Welcome to Back to the Basics, where you learn facts, hope you embrace it. Watch like share, bring in awareness. Watch like share, bring in I want you to understand that our concept of light comes from the sun, which does not rise at all. That's also one of those myths that is readily taught and accepted by the masses. The sun actually stays in its position, rotating on its axis at the center of our solar system. And neither does it rise nor set. Though to the observer, it appears to, but do know that this is only an illusion. What is actually happening is the Earth is rotating on its axis as it revolves around the sun. And different locations of the Earth passes through the sun's light. This is why, while it's dark here, it's still light in another part of the world. So, when the sun is in view, we call it daytime. When it's out of view, we call it night. But night is not the proper term to use, for that word implies no light. When in fact, the sun is always shining, thus its light is always present. Whether its light is shining on this side of the planet, where you can see it, or where you are standing in its shadow and wrongfully referring to it as night. The key to understanding this phenomenon is overstanding shadows. You see, the sun is the cause of shadows. When the light of the sun is blocked by an object, the dark area beside the object is called a shadow. If you went outside at different times of the day and observed your own shadow, you will see how it changes according to the position of the sun. Just like how the light of the sun changes at different times of the day based on its position in relation to the planet's position. At high noon, the sun is over our heads, so there's hardly any shadows to see. In the morning, your shadow is in the west, and in the evening, your shadow is in the east. Now, here's the kicker. A shadow can only be seen in the presence of light. So when it's dark outside, it's not night, it's still light. For you're merely in the shadow of the sun, and thus it's the shadow out, not night. This idea that when it's dark, it's night, came from the Bible, Genesis 1-5 to be exact, where it refers to the darkness as night. But this is an obvious misinterpretation of the Hebrew word lehil, also lela, which comes from our ancient tongue, lalut, which means to twist away from the light, which is exactly what the planet does in its revolution around the sun. You see, the time the Bible was written was at a time when man thought that the world was flat. So we could understand the misunderstanding there. We should believe half of what we see and none of what we hear. I'm Kefra, and this is Back to the Basic. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like icon, share it with a friend or a family member, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time. Facts we stated, you wanna know something, go back to basics Most saw a trap and was called the matrix The world fibbalized, yet it's hard to face it So I spread truth, hope you embrace it Watch like share, bring in awareness We born to be woken, this the awakening Said we born to be woken, this the awakening I'm fearless